Tech fans, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. Now today, we've got something that's pretty interesting. Now you guys all know that forever, AMD has been the budget guy. AMD has been the company that you go to if you can't afford Intel stuff and you still want something that works. Well now, AMD has switched tracks. They're on the fast track now, selling CPUs at the same price as Intel's top of the line Extreme Series processors. And we were able to get our hands on their brand new FX9590 processor. Now you guys all know this thing's coming to market at like $900. 4.7 is the standard clock, 5.0, only problem is 220 watts of total TDP and 1.5 volts on that five gigahertz overclock. That's extreme shit. Now, we were able to get our hands on the processor, but to be quite honest with you, I'm kind of pissed off at AMD at this junction. So with that said, let's see why I'm upset with AMD's latest release. All right, folks, so check it out. Here is the box of the brand new FX9590. Now. I just think this is crazy, folks. You know, this thing is like over $800. It's their top of the line unlocked processor. And look at the packaging that we get here. This is the flimsiest and most honestly cheapest packaging I've ever seen in my life. AMD, if you haven't been watching this, I feel insulted by you. If this CPU isn't so fast that it blows the roof off, I'm gonna chew you up and chomp you out like a bad Taco Bell taco shell. This thing should have at least come in a nice metal container saying it's a limited edition. This is an insult. This thing's basically, you know, for the AM3 platform, has 16 megabytes of level three cache. It's gonna fit on, on the AM3 motherboards. So here on the top right here, if anybody wants to look at the nomenclature, it's the black edition. Flip it around, I mean, you guys saw this before, but there's just nothing to this at all. Just this little tiny thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this little AMD tab down here on the bottom here. And you guys can see this little AMD sticker they've got down here blocking this. Just go ahead and uh, pop my finger in here. It's so cheap, folks, I don't even need a knife or anything else to do this unboxing. That's how cheesy it is. So let's pull this stuff out. So into the box. We get this lovely little AMD book here. Why we're getting it, I don't know, but they've given us a bunch of paperwork in here. This is probably cost more than anything else in the packaging. And then we have the CPU. Here's the backside. You guys can see that AMD is still using pins. Unlike Intel, they use a different type of design. So we'll flip that thing around again. You guys can see it's the AMD FX unlocked. Here's a CPU. I will go ahead and remove it from here so that the camera can get a nice up close shot of this for you folks. So let me go ahead and pop this open. And now I'll have the camera get in here so we can get a nice clean shot of this so you guys can see this. But honestly, folks, I really want to know what your guys' opinion is on this. I know that you AMD fans out there are going to think I'm beating up AMD, and that's not how it is at all. I mean, if you went out and you spent $900 on a CPU, would you be expecting it to come in like with the bargain basement products come in? No, I really expect this to come in something a lot better. It's a small thing, but the small things at the end of the day are what make up the best. So there you have it, the brand new AMD Black Edition FX 9590 in all its glory. Now, if I seem a little bit grumpy in this video, honestly, I kind of am. When we got the CPU and I saw that just came in this terrible packaging as far as I'm concerned, I admit, I kind of got really flipped out about it because when I spend money on something like this, it's supposed to be a limited edition, I'm expecting it to really look like a limited edition. And you AMD fans, you guys should be with me on this as well because you guys out there are the ones who really support this the most. And when you guys go out to buy a process from those guys, especially something like this, I think you want to come in something that's very collectible, not just something that's just completely throw away. Actually, that's probably my biggest problem with it. The content in the box and everything just seems completely throwaway. If I'm buying a CPU like this, it's supposed to be like, you know, the supreme creme de la creme. I really expect some decent packaging. Let me know what you guys think. Also, I'm now going to be taking the CPU, putting it in a system and running all the testing and letting you know how this thing actually does against the Intel CPUs and against its own. So with that said, I'm Elric. I'm out of here because, well, I got testing to do. So see you.